Diabetes is a condition that affects nearly 3 million British people and that's just the figure we know about. It's a condition I've spent many, many hours with patients dealing with, but as a country, for something that's so common, are we doing enough to help ourselves? New research suggests that no, according to the Health Express poll of over 2,000 adults, over a quarter of British people are eating at least one chocolate bar every day, while the same number admit to drinking more than three cups of tea or coffee with sugar. As a nation, the research shows that nearly one in five of us are drinking at least one alcoholic drink every day and worryingly, a quarter admit they never exercise. Based on the research results, it's also estimated nearly a million Brits believe diabetes is something you could catch from other people. So, as we enter the season of excessive eating, I'm trying to discover if we're heading for a bigger problem. So what are the telltale signs, the type of warnings that should prompt you to see your GP? Anyone over the age of 40 who is overweight, doesn't exercise enough and has a family history of diabetes is vulnerable to the condition. The best way to be on top of diabetes for yourself, your friends and your family is to remember the four T's. That stands for toilet, thin, thirsty and tiredness. If you're finding that you need to pee more, that could be the first sign of diabetes. What about thin? Do you find that you're losing weight for no apparent reason? What about the symptom of being thirsty all the time? If there's no obvious reason for feeling more thirsty and you're losing weight, it could be that you're developing diabetes. Tiredness is the fourth of the four T's. The cells in your body have no fuel for energy and you will feel excessively tired. Uh, in the UK, um, there is an extraordinary amount of support for people with um, type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Ever since I was diagnosed, there's been various um, professionals that I can talk to. It all starts every year. I have a specific um, type of blood test done uh, which can register how well my blood, blood sugar levels have been controlled and then I have a checkup with the consultant uh, about my results. I'm a big believer in personal responsibility um, if you have a, any sort of health issue not just um, diabetes um, you need to do everything you can to stop um, that particular health issue getting worse um, and so it all starts with you looking after yourself. If it's discovered by your GP and treated properly diabetes is certainly something you can live with. Interestingly the Health Express research does show an appetite for change. Our researchers asked if people would support a levy on chocolate bars if it would lead to a reduction in diabetes cases in the UK. 18% said they would. Over a third said they'd like to see lessons on diabetes included in the school curriculum. Well, I've put lots more information about the condition on www.healthexpress.co.uk forward slash diabetes dash risk dash factors. You can find out more about the warning signs there, other useful information and of course find support groups too. As much as I'm coping with it and it's part of my life and I'm happy to just deal with it, um, I would never wish diabetes on anyone else. It's not a fun thing to have. Um, it's not fun every morning when you leave the house to think, have I got energy tablets on me so if I have a hypo I'm not going to collapse in the street. It's not fun to think that there are a long list of implications from diabetes. So if you're sat there and you're thinking, I never really do that much exercise or I'm not really eating correctly, don't think it's not going to happen to you because the likelihood that it is.